543, we're helping you get around Metro Detroit, and we all know our roads are in bad shape. And there's funding coming to help fix them, but we're learning now about a problem, a new problem, a lack of workers. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Warren and Matt. How are companies working to fill this growing need for employees? Well, Keenan, really, they have to get creative. They can't just go about recruiting workers in the traditional way. In some instances, they're attracting high school talent to get them involved in construction, really show them what the trade is all about. Things kind of changed once I got into this. At first, I was kind of wandering around. I didn't know what I wanted to do for real. But yeah, I saw this and I was like, yeah, I definitely want to do this. Aaron Wright just graduated Cody APL and he's already on the job learning skills and that's important. You hear people complain a lot about our roads and now we're seeing money coming into big projects like 696 and I-75 but you need workers. In many cases a lot of them left our state during lean budget years while we just weren't fixing our roads letting them fall to pieces. And many of those workers aren't coming back now. Others simply aged out of the trade. The difference for people like Wright is that they're not going to trade school or college. They're getting on the job training through companies like Angelo Iafredi and Cadillac Asphalt, even other local competitors. They see an issue with the lack of workers, a lack of young workers specifically. So they're actually teaming up something you wouldn't expect competitors do so they can train up the next generation of road workers through pre-apprenticeship programs. They train me for 20 hours for that week, and they also put me out in the field for 20 hours. I'm training 20 hours, but I'm still getting paid a 40-hour work week. So you're, you're earning while you're learning. How many college kids can say that? Right now, there are 25 high schoolers from Detroit that are actually involved in this program. Not all of them seniors either. Some will go back to school before they can actually start these jobs. But this is really getting them a nice foothold in the construction business to see what it's like and really find out if they like it. And the important thing is, is this is young local talent. That word local is very important. And coming up at 645, we're going to be talking about how that kind of adds a whole other can of worms and what construction companies are having to do to make sure they have local workers on the job. It's a bigger problem than you might think, and it's not just the anecdotal we want to see local people at work. Work. It has something to do with the amount of money they have to spend on the job sites as well. Again, that story is coming up at 6:45. For now, we're live in Warren. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you. And it's a win-win because these are good-paying jobs. Absolutely. Thank you, Matthew.